Hey, what's happening guys? This weekend coming up is Field Day 2019. And if you don't know what Field Day is, it's probably because you're not an amateur radio enthusiast or a ham. Um, field Day is the time once a year hams get out into the community to practice their skills. Basically, we're trying to get new people involved. It's not like the old days where you could see a neighborhood uh, kid and say, you know, hey, Timmy, want to come over to my house, come down to the basement and play with my Zygu? You know, they put you away for that kind of stuff these days. Anyway, this is all the stuff that's going in my kit, my box for field day. And we'll take a look at that at the end of the video. Because the most, well, the second most important part is over here on the other side of Studio 1B. Let's go over there and have a look. I said it was the second most important part because the first most important part or the most important part is your antenna. You can have the best radio in the world, but if your antenna is crap, nobody's going to hear you. Anyway, what's in the box here is a brand new Zygu G90, which is a 20 watt SDR transceiver. Think of it as the baby brother to the ICOM 7300. It's a total SDR radio, which means software defined radio. All of your processing of the signal from the time it enters your radio can be done in software instead of having separate circuits for everything. It does it through what's called a spectral capture. And I'm not going to go into that, but you can. You can uh, Wikipedia it if you want. So what's in the box? We have our uh, USB cable here for programming. This is the uh, mic cable. This is the detachable faceplate uh, attached cable. Whoops, didn't mean to bump the camera there. Oh, very nice. Here is our power cord, and it's already got Anderson power poles on it. Here's our nice uh, multi purpose microphone. And here is the radio itself. So here she is. I can't find a ruler. Oh, hey. It's right in front of my face. So we're looking at about five inches. And if we go from the end of the guard to the end of the guard by ten inches, by two inches. Aluminum case, so it's a it's a pretty sturdy little guy here. Yeah, some of the specs are uh, high performance front end narrow band, narrow band pre selector, which is really good because if you're in a uh, thick RF environment, the way these radios work with that spectral capture, you're going to end up picking up a lot of uh, RF that you really don't want. It goes from 0.5 megahertz to 30 megahertz SSB, CW, AM, and FM. 1.8 inch uh, full color TFT LCD and uh, it displays a 24k of bandwidth in the spectrum and waterfall display area. Software defined filters that go as narrow as uh, 50 hertz for CW. Of course like I said the front face plate is detachable. It's got a built in antenna tuner and it's about 450 bucks which is really nice. We're going to take this over to the uh, the shack and hook it up and give it a play. And I'll show you why I you know, I'll show you the reason I bought it. It's basically the size. So we've got a ton of stuff going on there on that front panel. Wow. There we have a microphone connector on that side. Headphone jack, and uh, this is like a data port for doing software or firmware updates. Built in speaker. There we have our SO239 antenna connector, a key jack, a COM port, IQ, our accessory port, which you would use for data modes, ground, and our power. So let's go over and hook it up at the station and uh, have a play. Yeah. 
All right, there we go. We've got it powered up and working there. I don't know what we're listening to. Something in the 40 meter band. You can see we have our little spectrum scope down here. VFOA, VFOB. We're in uh, lower sideband mode. Now, um, we can tune here. Let me, uh, let me go off frequency here. Let me press and hold the tune button. And it goes into its tuning mode. Not a very fast tune, but hey, at least it's there. That's one of the, the main reasons I got this, this little radio. Because you never know when you're out in the field throwing an antenna up over a tree, you know, exactly what you're going to end up with. So a tuner is something uh, very nice to have. Yeah, that is pretty slow. Okay. Where are we at? 280. So that's pretty cool. Now, if you look down at the bottom, you see these E's and I's. That's the built-in uh, CW decoder. Now, we also have a uh, an antenna suite function here. Control the speed. It's interesting. There's our, our power level. Whoop. Maximum of 20 watt, and we can take it down to 1 watt. Very nice. Our tuner function, we have the key function, we have the lock. Now, down here, we have our uh, preamp or uh, attenuator settings. There's preamp. There's attenuator. We have a uh, compressor on off. Noise blanker. Our AGC and our VFO and or memory mode. And then with this function button up here, you get a whole separate thing. Uh, attenuator, uh, frequency low set, frequency high set, um, split and you can see our digital frequency controls right there. So that's pretty cool. Let's see, uh, let's take us down to uh, the bottom here. Get down, see if we can pick up any CW. All right, mode. Let's see if we can find something, see if it'll decode for us. Thought I heard something in there. That's just some noise. That's FT8. Hmm. Huh. That's strange. It's nothing with the radio, it's just I figured I'd be able to find some. Let's try try 20 meters. And that 
There we go. <laughs> of course, now it doesn't seem to want to decode, does it? I don't know enough about this radio as of yet to uh, how to make it do that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So I think this is going to turn out to be a nice little portable radio. And that's the whole reason I got it. I mean, there's my main rig right there, that FTDX 1200. That thing probably weighs 20 pounds. I bet you that weighs about 2 pounds. So, hopefully that'll work out really nice. As I get more into this, we'll make some more videos. And perfect timing, here comes the train. So with that, I'm going to say thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. If you're a ham, I'm going to look for you this weekend. You can look for me. Uh, my club will be out there using the call sign. Uh, <laughs> is it? Oh, Whiskey 8 Charlie Whiskey Oscar. That's the Steubenville uh, Ham Radio Club. All right, that's it. I'm out. Peace. Okay, pardon the mess. I'm um, getting everything ready to roll here. Where should we even start? Well, let's start with antennas. I have got a 20 meter dipole. I've got an end fed long wire. Then I got this guy here. Get all the parts of it. There's the coil, and there's a mount for it <laughs> somewhere. Oh, yeah, here's the mount. So we have the mount, we have the coil, and then we have the aluminum whip, and that is the um, MFJ apartment antenna. I haven't used it yet. So after antennas, we've got some uh, RG8X jumper wire, a bit longer, and 100 feet of nice heavy duty RG215. We got a roll of paracord for tossing stuff up in the trees. And Got this nice soft weighted bag that I tie the paracord on to throw my lines up in the trees. We got some synthetic rope. A USB sound card thingy bobble. This is uh, 100 feet of 14 gauge wire. In case you need to make any more antennas. Antenna switch box. This is a mount for uh, my ham stick. Universal tool. And this is one of those um, dog tie-outs you put in your yard. But it makes a really good like guy wire. Uh, stereo cable. Let's uh, zoom in on this one down here. Okay, so in here got a meter and leads but the cool stuff is over here which are adapters like there's just a 90 
There's an F plug to an SO239 BNC to PL259. Um, I can't think of the name of one of them little adapters to an end connector. Basically, I've got adapters for every and all situations. Always be prepared. And yes, I was a Boy Scout. I've got a power pole to some spade connectors for hooking up to, you know, little uh, batteries. USB cable, you know, for USB cable type stuff. Uh, disinfectant wipes. Cordless drill. And the official Field Day 2019 t-shirt. A little screwdriver kit. EDC knife. And that about covers it. Everything goes in the box, fits nicely in the trunk of the car, and we're ready to roll.